In this video, we'll be taking a look at the partition screen. This is where you can enter floors, ceilings and internal walls that are adjacent to unconditioned spaces or spaces that are conditioned to a different temperature. You can enter in up to five different wall partitions in addition to a floor and a ceiling. For each surface, the inputs are the same. Firstly, you'll enter an area for the floor, ceiling or wall partition. Next, you'll enter the U-value. If you right-click this field, some preset options are presented here that you can choose from, or you can just enter in your own custom value directly into the cell. Next, you'll specify the temperature of the adjacent space in both cooling mode and heating mode. There are a few different ways that you can enter this in. There's the A flag, the C flag, and the P flag, each of which are described here. The C flag is probably the easiest to understand. This allows you to just enter in a constant temperature for the adjacent space. For example, for this partition 1 here, the adjacent room has been specified to be 26 degrees at all times for the purposes of the cooling load calculation and a constant 10 degrees for the heating load calculation. CAMEL will use the difference between the adjacent space temperature and the internal design conditions specified for the room to find the delta T across the surface. This is then multiplied by the area and the U value entered in here to find the heat transmission. Another option is to use the A flag. This sets the adjacent space temperature at the ambient air temperature plus the number entered into the value field. In this example, we are saying that the space above the ceiling is at the summer ambient temperature plus 5 degrees for cooling mode and for heating mode it will just be at the ambient winter design condition itself since zero has been entered in here. The third and final option is the P flag which sets the temperature for the adjacent space to be at a proportion of the temperature difference between the room condition and the ambient condition. Entering 0.5 here will mean that the adjacent space is halfway between the room temperature and the ambient temperature. P1 is the same as the ambient temperature, so this 0.75 here means that the adjacent space is 3 quarters of the way towards the ambient temperature from the room temperature. As you only have 5 slots for wall partitions, you may need to combine some of your internal walls by adding up their surface areas, so long as they have the same adjacent space temperature. That's all for this video. Please join me in the next one, where we'll be looking at the internal screen. Bye for now.